I love CLA. Like CLA all the way. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from a really small town um, just outside of Madison, Wisconsin. And I knew that I wanted to branch out and go to a bigger city for college. I really wanted to kind of like expand my lens. And my sister is about, she's 10 months older than me. So my sister is one year of school ahead of me and she goes to the U and she loved it so much, um, but I was, hesitant to apply here because I didn't want to just be following in her footsteps. I wanted to kind of have my own story and my own journey. But then when I visited here, here I loved it so much. I had so much fun. I fell in love with the city. Driving into Minneapolis for the first time was the first time I had seen like a skyline with skyscrapers like that and all the lights and like the gold medal flower sign. I just thought it was so gorgeous. And like, even to this day, I've been here for two and a half years. Every time I drive past it, like I feel the like flutter in my heart a little bit. Like I just kind of like feel like a sense of belonging around here. I first came in undecided and I kind of thought I wanted to go into dentistry, but that was more so because I wanted to have something decided on so that I could take classes and just pursue it and get the degree. But then when I was talking to my academic advisor, a lot of my passions came out and I realized that I'm very interested in social justice and youth development and just like working with others and different diverse populations. So my academic advisor told me to register for sociology of law, crime and deviance. It's a intro level sociology course and I just adored it and I was so excited to go to class and I just felt like the time flew by because I was so interested and engaged during the class and I realized like I want to take more classes like this. My brain is being pushed in all the right directions right now. So then I started taking more classes and I went in very, very excited to declare my major and I actually got hired to be a front desk assistant in the sociology department. So I did that for a few semesters and it was really cool to get to know the faculty and the graduate students and everyone in the department. I kind of felt like I was building a community there. And then this year I was promoted to be the peer advisor in the Department of Sociology. As I've progressed through my coursework, I've learned a ton about myself and my personal strengths, my passions and values and where they lie like in alignment with my goals for my career and my future and what I want from life going forward. And I think it is really, really important to me to be doing work that actually has like a positive impact and is really making a difference in someone's life. Where I'm at right now in my educational journey, I guess I never really foresaw myself getting here. Like, I didn't know that I would have the opportunity to be able to do undergrad research or the opportunity to study abroad. I figured like it was something that I couldn't afford or something that were was inaccessible to all students. You know, you had to be like the best of the best in order to have those experiences. But when I came to college, I realized I was completely wrong and those opportunities are just waiting for you. And I really feel like my path just kind of fell into place so naturally here. And I'm really thankful for it, but I also know that it comes from a lot of behind the scenes work being done to support students and make sure we have those resources available to us. In my first year, I actually received the Dean's Freshman Research and Creative Scholars Program Award, and they kind of give you a budget to work with so that you can participate in research with a faculty member. Basically, they emailed me and they were like, we will pay you to do research if you want to, and we will pair you with a faculty member and we will, you know, put in that background work for you. And I was like, that sounds amazing. I am so lucky. Yes, let's do it. And then they were like, great, like, tell us about some of your in areas of interest in research and we'll pair you up. And then a couple weeks later, they told me the contact, Keitha, who I'd be working with. And I was super excited to like meet her. And when I first went to her office, it was like, I was so nervous and anxious to meet her because like she has a PhD and she's like so cool. And 
just smart and I was really nervous. But then in her office, she had like all these plants all over and she had like tons of snacks and she was super, super nice. And I would definitely just hang out with her on any day. Like it was great conducting research with her, but she's a very cool person. I'm lucky to meet her. <laughs> I visited my peer advisor a couple different times and she was super cool. I was actually kind of intimidated by her, but only because she was clearly so smart and put together and I wanted to be that. I wanted to be smart and put together and feel as confident and radiate that the same way she did. And so I think in talking with her, she had a very clear idea of her career path, but it wasn't just random, it was very intentional she had really thought about each step and how it aligns with her goals. And she kind of pushed me to do that too. And really like without putting any of her own biases on, she just listened to me talk about what I wanted. And then she kind of helped guide me toward what she thought would be a good fit and was very open to criticism or concerns I might have, which is something I think is really unique. I think a lot of times in advising positions, people can get into the habit of pushing students in one direction that seems to work for a lot of students, but every student is unique and has their own individual needs and differences. And so that was something that she taught me. And now I get to work with students who are just like me, who are coming in kind of confused, interested in sociology, not sure how to plan out that path to graduation. And I'd be able to kind of help them and like share my personal experiences and tips for them that would have been helpful for me. And it's just kind of a really like rewarding experience to come full circle. I used to be really anxious, especially very, very overwhelmed with the idea of what am I gonna be doing after I graduate? But I feel like all of my classes and all of the experiences I've had along the way have really given me the tools that I need to succeed afterward. Now I'm just really excited because I feel like, you know, I was nervous coming into college too about what it was gonna be like, but it, it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be because there were so many people there to support me from all different levels of the university. Everyone in the campus community was really, really supportive of me through every step and that's something that I wasn't necessarily expecting, but I was so grateful for, and I don't know if I would have been able to achieve and to experience all the wonderful things that I have without. For me, college is about exploring all the different opportunities and learning about yourself along the way. You're able to develop different skills and competencies in different disciplines that kind of work together and culminate who you are as a student, as a worker. And I think having that kind of range is really, really useful for future employment, whatever path you decide to take. I feel like I developed a new sense of awareness about who I am, what my strengths are, and what my weaknesses are. And being able to reframe my weaknesses as areas of improvement and knowing the tangible steps I need to take to improve those areas of weakness are a huge thing that I've learned along the way in college. And I think that's something that, something that's really important moving forward in further education or joining the workforce. Either way, you need to have that ability to like that, like self-awareness. And so for me, college is definitely about building that awareness of yourself. My name is Callie Weary, and this is my CLA story. Honestly, all I can say is CLA is the best. It just, it's the best.